Okay, welcome everyone, James Park from jamesparklog.com and I just wanted to shoot a quick little video um, about uh, just drawing and fading it and the, you know some of the best players out there from uh, today and from the past, I mean, let's say from the past, Monty's now playing on the Champions Tour um, but I pulled this, I just pulled this video up from, uh, from YouTube um, camera angle is not the best but we'll, uh, but we'll play around with it and the first thing I want you to look at and we've got uh, Colin Montgomery on the left uh, Troy Matteson who plays in the PGA Tour on the right and the first thing I want you to look at is just the angle between the left arm uh, and the shaft um, now Troy Matteson draws the ball the guy on the right so what he's done is he's he starts off with some more weight uh, in his left side. Uh, his, the shaft's leaning forward. Uh, his hands are forward. And what this, done, what this does then is, is it points the club face out to the right. Okay, so that club face is pointing right of target. Now, what you tend to see when guys fade the ball is they set up with the shaft leaning back a little bit. Uh, just like you see Monty here, uh, so shafts leaning back, hands are back, uh, and what that does to the club face is it points the club face off to the left. All right, so um, and then that, in a nutshell, is how you want to set up whether you want to draw it or you want to fade it. All right. Uh, now, when we see what goes on in Monty swing, right, there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a kind of a hip bump, isn't that just off the ball there? Uh, he loads into his right leg and also keeps his right leg pretty flexed as well there. Right, he's really loaded up into this right sort of right sort of leg here, kept that knee flexed, and because he's kept that knee flexed. You can see how he's just lacking him a little bit. I mean, he's tilted his hips and he's he's done a great job of tilting his spine as well towards the towards the target to stay centered. But you can see because of that lack of hip turn, because that right leg stayed flexed, it's it's affected his upper body turn. So he hasn't been able to turn quite as as much as some guys. Right. Uh, whereas if you look at someone who does the opposite of that, um, who someone who strains his right leg a lot in his backswing, um, as he starts off, you can see how that right leg straightens up. Okay, kind of loads a bit more weight in his left side, and because of this function, that right knee straightening and this left knee sort of flexing, he can create a lot more hip rotation, he still tilted his hips uh, and because that hip, that lower body segment is working a little bit better then his upper body is a lot freer to make a much much bigger turn so you can see the difference in shoulder shoulder turn right so what does that do with regards to um, the backswing well if you look at if we pull one of Troy's uh, videos up here, All right, and then we pull one of Monty's up. Well, you can see. Um, well, let's let's look at let's let's do some shot cones first. All right. So if you think of if you think of uh, whether whether you want to draw it or fade it. So if we want to uh, if we want to draw it, okay. We'll have that one. And if we want to fade it, we can look at Monte. Right. So um, if we want to draw it, then obviously we want our hands moving more on the inside. Right. And you can see how his hands, as he takes it away, are moving more on the inside, more this way than Monte and he's, and he's set up. And also, you know, obviously the way that he sets up as it to it as well. The, the lower body sort of flex forward is about the same here. But you can see how Monty's got a lot more sort of shoulder roll at the top of his uh the top of his spine. Okay, Troy Matson's only got a little bit. 
right? So obviously, as because because his upper body flex is more bent over, you can see how he can get that left shoulder down a lot more on his takeaway, won't it? And also, you know, as he as he takes it away, there's no sort of emphasis of trying to move inside. It's all just very steep and vertical. Um, and then gets his hands up here. So as he gets up to the top, his left arm, his hands are, are very high. Uh, as he took it away, you know, his hands are kind of coming across, coming back over his toe line rather than inside of his toe line. All right, so it all just sets up for this nice sort of very high, very steep sort of shot pattern. Right, so it's always going to be, it's always going to be kind of through, through that green. Let's just move that over there a little bit, maybe. It's always, it's always going to be sort of through that sort of that that cone there, isn't it? So it starts left slightly, and then just fades back onto the back onto the pin. So it's fading, it's fading. This way, right? That's the shot pattern because of his setup and his movement back with his weight and in the shaft leaning back, obviously. Now, when you take someone who likes to draw the ball, you can see his hands are coming back a lot more on the inside. Okay, hands and, and left arms a lot deeper going back, a lot more around him. Hands a lot and left arm a lot more across his body at the top. You look at that position compared to. Monte, right, and it's just totally different. So from this position, we've got more chance of attacking the ball more on the inside. So if we can just get the path going a little bit more out to the right, just through the shot, you know, just that kind of millisecond through the shot there, right, club face. So let's let's use some numbers. Let's use let's say let's say Troy Masson swings it out. Uh, 4 degrees, right here, right, but his club face at, at impact is only pointing out 2 degrees, right, 2 degrees, 4 degrees, well, what that means is the club face, the ball's going to start somewhere near the club face, all right, and then we cut, and then we, all, we always want these ratios about 50%, right, if you're going out 4 degrees with the path, you want the club face to only be going out two degrees, right? So it's actually the club face is close to the path, but you can see here the target line, right? It's actually open to the target line. So that so that if you can get those kind of numbers, the ball's going to start where the club somewhere near the club face and eventually start to just curve back into the target. So there, so there you've got this shot cone. Right in here, where Troy Matterson is looking to shape the ball. So when he goes around the golf course, he's going to tend to tee it up on the left side of the the tee box. Right, he's going to come over here and tee it up. Whereas Monty will always be looking for the right side of the tee box because his shot cone is something over here. Right, so he's looking at sort of all this. Over here as his shot cone, and he's going to start the ball in there and then curve it back to the target. So it just depends on your eye, it depends what you practice a lot of. Um, my uh, preference is obviously to draw the ball, to teach people to draw the ball. You know, I, I, I like the hands to move back up and in and then forward, down, and out, just like you see Troy doing here. Um, whereas you see someone who fades it, someone like Monte. Uh, who kind of, you know, it's back, it's up, but, you know, is he in that much? You know, is, are his hands moving in that much? You know, it's definitely back and up, obviously. Forward and down, and, you know, it's forward, down, and out. Uh, but, you know, is, is it, if we, if we, if we, if he moved his hands just a little bit more inwards, you know, perhaps he could, uh, shave the ball a little bit more. But, it's, like I say, it's just what suits your eye. Um, and you, you want a lot of competition, a lot of tournaments. You want, I think, it was six times or seven times the the European uh, order of merit. Um, but never a major. Well, I think he's got a couple now on the on the seniors tour. But um, 
I'm sure he thinks it's kind of sour grapes. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. Um, how to draw it, how to fade it, it's all in the setup, folks. So uh, um, to draw it, weight forward, hands forward, shaft forward, um, swing your hands in to fade it, shaft back, hands back, weight back. Uh, and from that position, it's going to be very difficult not to come across it slightly. Okay. Uh, have any questions or comments? Uh, please leave them below. If you're watching this uh, anywhere but my blog, um, please come and see me over at jamesplotgolf.com and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.